In this video, we'll see how to dockerize a fast API project. Let's start by creating Python's virtual environment. Activate the virtual environment. Now, install Fast API in Ubicorn. Let's create main.py file. For IntelliSense, locate the virtual environment in VS Code. Import Fast API from Fast API. Initialize the app like this. Now, create the get request handler in the root endpoint. This endpoint will return JSON with hello world message. Let's run the Uvicorn server now. And in the browser, if we go to 127.0.0.1 port 8000, we should see the hello world JSON message. Let's go to the Swagger UI and test the API from there as well. Try it out. And execute. Stop the server. Now, save the dependencies on requirements.txt file. We can now start dockerizing our Hello World application built in Fast API. Create the Docker file. We are going to use Python's 3.8.10 Slim Image as the base image. Let's set slash app as our work directory. Copy everything from the present directory to the work directory. And, write a command to install the dependencies in the Docker image. To not to copy unnecessary files and folders, we can create the Docker ignore file and write the following lines. Now, we can create the Docker Compose YAML. We are using version 3. Let's name our service web. We can use present working directory, where we have our Docker file, as the build context. Now, write the command which will be executed when the container starts. This will be the Uvicorn command, which will start the fast API server. Next, we can map the host system's 8000 port to the container's 8000 port. Let's build the container and see if it works. In the browser, we can go to 127.0.0.1 port 8000. And hola! It works! And it also works from the Swagger UI. Let's see if the hot reloading works. Oops, it don't seems to be working. We have to sync our host machine with the Docker container, so the Uvicorn server can listen to the changes in our files. For that, we have to mount the volume in Docker Compose file. We have to restart our Docker container.
The server is up again. Let's do some changes in the API response. And yes, it seems to be working now, because we saw the server reloading in the logs. Now our next task is to read some data from the environment, using environment variables. Let's create a .env file. And, add a key value pair inside it. In our main.py file, we can fetch the secret value from the environment and return it with the API response. In our Docker Compose file, we have to provide the path to our environment file. Everything looks fine, let's rerun the server again. And, hola! It's fetching the value from the mounted environment file. Thank you so much guys, for watching this quick tutorial. In the next video we'll see how to make this project production ready.